Brownie. It's a win, but I don't suppose you're bothered about that, are you? No, the main thing is we've got no injuries after tonight. I think that dampened Tuesday night, Kieran getting injured. Um, I think we forget we've only had three training sessions, two games as well. It's a bit, it's a bit of a weird pre-season, but we've got to get games in because of the County Cup yeah. next week. Um, so that's why some of the lads played a bit longer today. Um, again, it's just a typical pre-season game. There was lots of subs going on, chance to change formations and things, see different things, and get all the lads the minutes that they need. Ryan, a bit warm out there, mate, looks. <laughs> it's tough. Typical breeze, he's in conditions, isn't it? It's yeah. tough, but I suppose it's better for you like that, and it gets a better, better fitness levels up. But no, Brown is our first 20 minutes. Oh, really? Same as Tuesday night, we, we blew him away, and then don't know if it's complacency or getting tired towards the end, but they had us under a bit of caution the first 20 minutes of the second half, and they probably deserved the result out of it, but credit to the lads who've stuck around and got a win. Yeah, a few trialists in there today. Really yeah, impressed. yeah. It was, just like I say, it's good just to see lots of people. There was players playing in different positions, like Cads playing centre mid, and right back. Paws played left wing back, left back. It's just pre-season, just to see players playing in different roles. Um, like Blotty said, they put us under the cosh a bit. To be fair, so it was good to change the formation and try and st stagnate it a little bit. Um, but. Again, it was good to see them digging as well. It was good to be under the cosh a little bit, not all one-way traffic, because you want to see that side of it as well. So maybe they did that on purpose, made it a bit of a game, just to do, put a bit of defensive side to it. But like Blotty said, the first first half an hour or so till the drinks break, it, it was a bit attack. Well, yeah, a bit attack really defence to be fair. But, but second half, like Blotty said, they did they did really well. I've always said I think Amazon are a bit of a false league for the team they've got. They're a good side, aren't yeah, they? they are a good side. They are definitely in a false league for me, um, and uh, we'd be a very good team to beat them in for promotion this year. Amaz. Yeah, two wins out of two. You don't need that, do you? <laughs> no, we'll text. We're him. joking about that. <laughs> we'll text him. We'll, he can stay on that sun lounger, <laughs> and uh, we've got this. Um, we'll we'll keep him posted. Yeah, you're looking forward to uh, big one Thursday, then? Yeah, it's going to be. It's a good Look, Masker in a false league. We're talking about these men in a false league. Masker probably in a false league as well, to be fair. So it'll be a good test for whereabouts we are at the moment because we're what now three weeks into into pre-season. Um, the season what four or five weeks away if it starts. Um, we need to start raising a bit, I think. Yeah, it's, it'll be it'll be different. It'll be different um, Thursday again because obviously it won't be roll on roll off. I think that made it a bit of a more game because Amers only had a couple of subs. They wanted to do roll on roll off subs, um, so. That may be why towards the second half they were more on top, fresh legs keep coming on. Um, but come Thursday, we're going to have what, three subs max? I'm not sure. Yeah. So we're going to have to get 90 minutes out of them. Uh, we'll have to patch them up, take it a bit lighter on Tuesday, ready for Thursday. Because we have, they have worked really hard in training, to be <coughs> fair. Because, like I said, it's a bit of a, not a false pre season, but not your usual schedule. You wouldn't really have as many games to start with. But because we've got the competitive match in the middle of a pre season, we've got to get the games in. So. Um, so yeah, it was, they're going to have to suck it up and what, eight out of the 11 will have to play 90 minutes on Thursday night. Um, mm. For you guys, is Thursday come too early then? Well, it's what it should be there. For me, I mean, York have pulled out for a, for a valuable reason. I think it's a similar, similar situation, just missed playoffs. I know they want to get it in, but it is one of them, is it? We're going to treat it as, as a competitive pre-season game. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've got to win it, but... It's it's difficult. It's difficult because pre-season's pre-season, and yeah. lads are probably at sixty, seventy percent. Yeah, we're going into a competitive match, not fully yeah. prepared for it, really. Mm. Um, like Amaz, they've been training what a month. We've had yeah, three, long, we've had three sessions. So I don't know what Mask have done with their social distance groups or what have you. But that, for me, probably does come a bit a bit too soon. But it's like like I said, it's a chance to go and win something. But. You've got players here that weren't even in the competition last year. Like I wasn't here. There's players that are, we've signed. Jacko didn't play in the competition. You're going into a semi-final. It's just a bit of a, a weird one for me how you can cancel the league and void that, but the cup competition carries on. But yeah. like, like like I said, we just got to treat it like a competitive, uh, as competitive as we can. Um, I know the gaffo. All of us, we want to win every game, whether it's pre-season or not. So we'll definitely be going to win it. Um, but again, it's just preparing ourselves for. September slash October really, which we could do in knowing one way or the other because yeah. like Kieran so, got injured the other night and if we push the season back to October does he even need to play in that game it, it, mm. and we're pushing players maybe a bit more than we need to because of that Thursday night game so we'll go to win it and give it our best shot. But.
Gaffer's back next week, so it's over to him. We 100%. So all the best, Gaff. Well done, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, boys. Thanks for that. <laughs>